to live life is to be related and in every relationship there are three factors the relator the subject what he relates to is the object and the connection between the subject and object is called relationship if the relationship is harmonious life is harmonious if the relationship are disharmonious life is disharmonious for life is nothing but relationship just imagine there's a wall if the bricks of the wall are strong the wall is strong if the bricks of the wall are weak the wall is weak so the life is nothing but relationship now people ask me how to deal with toxic people all right and therefore toxic people create negativity in me how to deal with it i give an example if a dog barks when the dog barks you resist it you oppose it then there is friction but if a dog barks just be empty just be shunya then you will find there is no resistance the dog barking will not disturb clapping happens if there is resistance if there is no resistance there is no clapping if somebody opposes you and your ego resist your point of view resist there is friction when somebody scolds you don't resist be empty knows in the scolding there can be music who knows in the scolding you will see the vocabulary of his hurt as the person is scolding you will see the anatomy of his hurt as he is scolding if you are empty you will see he is hurt and therefore is expressing hurt and therefore to be empty and listen to toxic people you will have compassion you will not be crushed but you will be cherished by compassion and therefore to deal with toxic people just be empty be shunya and a compassion will come from a mysterious center a mystic center and therefore every negative people is teaching you a lesson be enlightened by everybody good or bad be enlightened that sagacity of perception that purity of living is a gift that you owe to yourself and challenge yourself